2014, it was another proof by induction and a proof by induction involving a series as well. Or so. so this is the thing we have to prove, n plus n over 1. So if you want to get a better feeling for that, when it says the first n natural numbers, so the natural numbers are positive whole numbers, so what we want to prove is 1, 2, plus 3, all the way up to n is equal to n bracket n plus 1 over 2. So if we add up all the first n natural numbers, we're going to end up with this little expression here to find the sum. So step 1. Show that n is equal to 1 is true. So remember your three letters, sat, show, assume and prove. So 1 is equal to 1 times 1 plus 1 over 2. 1 is equal to 2 over 2, 1, which is true. Step 2. Assume. n is equal to k is true. So just stop. Solving your k. And this is the thing that we're always going to go back to. And on your last step here. Prove that n is equal to k plus 1. It's true. So in your series, we add it on to the left and we sub it in the right. The reason we add it on to the left is to get back to this assumption. So there's our assumption. Now we're going to add on the next term, which is k plus 1. And then we're going to sub it at the right. So instead of k, we're going to say k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1, which seems k plus 2, all over 2. From this... We can see that we have our assumption here. There's our assumption. And instead of that, we're just going to express it in a different way. We're going to use our assumption there. It says k times k plus 1 over 2 plus k plus 1. We're going to work with the left hand side and try and get it the same as the right hand side. And just have to tidy it up, get it all over two. Now we actually have it worked out in terms of grouping. We have the same terms inside the bracket. So we can simply put our terms outside the bracket together. If you're unsure of that, just multiply out these brackets. You're going to end up with a quadratic, k squared plus 3k plus 2. And then when you factorize that quadratic, you get k plus 1 and k plus 2, whatever way you see. Um, or finally, you could even just multiply them out, multiply out this right hand side, and get one side equal to the other side. But I'm just take the simple option, put these terms together, k plus 1 and k plus 2 over 2. Just keeping an eye on the right hand side, what our goal is, what we want to get to. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So we have done our proof. And then your step four, fire away conclusion. Just go through each of your stages. We showed that n is equal to one is true. Assume that n is equal to k is true. Proved n is equal to k plus one is true. So we'll prove the next term is true. Therefore, three V dots, true for all values. And is an element of natural numbers. Right. Second bit here, find the sum all the natural numbers from 51 to 100 inclusive. Um, two ways we can do this. We can either use what we did in the previous part, using that formula, 
you're going to find the sum of the terms from 51 to 100. Find the sum of the terms from 1 to 50. And take one answer away from the other. Use it only from 51 to 100. Other way which I prefer, since we need to know it anyway. It's a linear sequence because it's got the same common difference of 1. If it's in a linear sequence or an arithmetic sequence, we're using this for the sum of it. Here, that will just give us the term number. The second formula here, SN, gives us sum of the linear uh, sequences. So n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. A is the first term, d is the common difference. <clears throat> now it's only from 51 to 100. So our first term is 51, our common difference is 1. How many terms are there from 51 to 100? There's 50 terms. The first 50 terms are 1 to 50. The next 50 terms are from 51 to 100. So we have 50 over 2. 2 times a, so 2 times 51. Plus uh, n, 50 minus 1. And the common difference is 1. So just tidy that up now. Twenty-five times one five one three seven seven five. And then the last part of this question, the logs question. Now here we want to get back to k is equal to log c x. So we're going to have to get log cx in this somewhere. Express log c root x. Now when we see a root x, how can we get it out like this? Square root is the same as putting something to the power of a power of a half. Log cx to the power of a half plus now log cx. That's this rule here. There's your log c, c, x. Just split it up into log c, c plus log c, x. When you have a power uh, for your, uh, to your log, just bring down the power in front of it. A half. Now log c, x we see is p. So a half p plus log c, c. Like we said before, log 5, 5, log 10, 10, so it's the same as 1, plus log cx is p. And then if you were to tidy it up, half of p plus p is 1 and a half p, plus 1.